Yeah, the Sheriff's Academy is nearby, so it's not unusual to see large groups of recruits running in the street. But this morning, even with two sheriff vehicles escorting them, that group of recruits was hit by an out-of-control SUV. It's security cam video that captures a tragic crash. The recruits jogging up Mills Avenue when the Honda CRV slams right into them. The scene afterward chaotic. The dispatch call stocked with panic. How many patients? How many recruits are injured? Emergency workers scrambling to save those sent flying by the SUV. They said it looked like an airplane wreck. There were so many bodies scattered everywhere in different states of injury that it was a uh, Pretty traumatic for all individuals involved. Sheriff Alex Villanueva holding a news conference a short time after the wreck, laying out what happened. 75 deputy recruits were jogging in formation on Mills Avenue when this Honda SUV veered into the wrong lane and slammed headfirst into the group of recruits. The deputies at the front of the formation could see the vehicle coming and they were able to get out of the way, but the people from they were behind the ones in the front could not see what was in front of them and that those are the ones who were not able to get out of the way and took their brunt to the impact. The collision happened just yards away from a fire station, so first responders were quick to the scene. Witnesses jumping in to help as well. Everyone was kind of in a panic, and it, there was cables on fire, and the car was smoking, and it was it was it was really a graphic scene. I, there were so many people it was just scattered and running around and trying to help each other. The cause of the wreck still under investigation. The driver, described as a 22-year-old man, seen here going through a field sobriety check. The sheriff saying there were no signs of alcohol in his system, but that the SUV seemed to speed up right before the wreck. Some recruits are saying they heard the car accelerating. They estimate around 30 miles an hour, 30 to 40 miles an hour. And uh, as you can see, how little reaction time that, that allows someone. And it wasn't just sheriff recruits who were injured. Trainees from police departments in Bell, Glendale, Pasadena, El Segundo, and UCLA were also hurt in that wreck.